y'all and welcome to the chroma side of YouTube so today um, I'm gonna be working on handbags uh, I don't want to tell you guys too much about it right at the moment but someone is interested in having handbags so in this video I will paint four handbags two are black and two are white and then in the next video that I do uh, I will be painting four more handbags um, in this video, I plan on doing puddle pours on all of these bags. And in the next video, I will do a few of them that are swipes to get cells. Um, anyway, this one is not to focus on cells. I have uh, neutral colors because that is what the client wants. So, um, without further ado, I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, Pull these colors out and show them to you and I'm gonna do one at a time so I'm gonna move these out of the way okay so here is the first one that we're gonna do um, the first puddle pour is going to be white orange and this is a uh, acrylic I think it's chrome orange mm. and uh, gold I did not add any water to this the only thing is one part paint two parts flow troll because number one um, I want it to be a little thick I don't want it to move too much um, I, of course I do want it to move but I don't want it to move too much and just like in the first handbag videos that I did I did cover the back these these are I don't know if you can read it you see through there these are the same bags they say she cabins and the other smaller black ones say love. Anyway, um, I did paint uh, gesso over the square that I want it to be painted. So without further ado, let's do our puddles. And I'm just going to do, um, just like I normally do, just a regular old puddle pour. There's no silicone, no water. It's just paint and Floetrol. I'm not particularly wanting or aiming for cells in this particular pour. Okay, that seems to be enough paint. I'm gonna put my finger through, well, my stick. And now I'm gonna pick it up and I'm going to pour this paint. So, the reason why you see me touching like this is because I want to wet the canvas so that my paint moves better. I'm really digging these colors together. They're very beautiful. Oh yeah, there we go. Now the paint's moving.
beautiful. Now, I am going to torch it. <clears throat> and then I'll get you guys down and give you guys a look. Beautiful. Check it out. Like I said, you guys, I really love this combination together. The color of this orange is like reddish orange color with the gold and the white in there. I love it. Okay, guys. So let's move this out of the way. And um, we will actually um, have our, uh, whew, don't like that. Well, where's my stick? Well, let's just erase it then. Make it look a little organic. I shouldn't have touched it. You know, once you like something, you should leave it alone. <laughs> okay. There we have it. Let me put you guys up here. There you are. Beautiful, right? Okay, I'm going to go sit this over here and we're going to start on the next one. All right, guys. This is a black one. So I'm going to use the black colors. Now, um, I think that these colors are gonna look really, really dynamic against the black. I got Artist Loft Brilliant Blue, Artist Loft White, Artist Loft Black, and Artist Loft Silver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is laying nice and flat, because reasons. And then I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in my puddles.
Okay. Now I have my puddles poured. Put this black back away because I don't want to use all of it. I don't want it to overtake my pour. And we're going to put the stick through in a different pattern. And we're going to tilt this one as well. That was interesting. Now, let's see what we got. I'm gonna try and, there we go, flatten it out a little bit. Beautiful. Now that one is an earth is not an earth tone, but it's okay because I like it. And this one is a white one. Okay. So on this one, I'm gonna go three colors: black, gold, and white. I'm gonna pour it like this. Why not? I want mostly white to show up in this pour. So I made an X. And now I'm gonna pour my puddles in between the X. Let me put you guys up here so you guys can see it. Okay. Guys, I'm just having fun with this. I really am. Because you know what? I, the way I figure it, I'm going to have fun doing this. It's going to be awesome. And my client's going to love them. And she's going to ask me for more. Because I have faith. Use up that last bit of black from the last one. Simply because I can. Now let's move it. Let's do like we did on the last one and where we folded it like that. And then we'll move it down. And then we'll move it 
back up. I see a little gooby. So that's got to go out of there. And now again, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to let it run. I like it. I really do. Where's my torch? Okay. There's the next one. Cool, huh? I'm really loving this. This is really, really fun for me. And it, too, is a black one. So instead of gold, I'm going to use uh, silver. So the trend for, for these particular bags is whenever I have a black one, I'm using silver. Whenever I have a gold one, I'm using gold. And in this next one, it's just going to be um, black, silver, and gold. But before I do all of that, I actually want to take a piece of UFO, and I want to squish it down on my table. So let me pull you down, and uh, we'll take a look at... Cool. Now... I'm just going to do one piece to show you how I do it, and then I will uh, be right back with the next, um, the fourth bag. Okay, now let's see how this comes out. Now just keep in mind if you don't like your squish, Yupo is interesting in the fact that you can always uh, either re-squish it or you can always wash it off and use that paper again. But once this once this paint dries, you cannot reuse this Yupo. Okay guys, so we're using on this fourth one, we are going to use black, white, and silver. Now, I want to end with white, so I'm going to start pouring with black.
All right, here we go. Now, I really like this one a lot. I really like this one a lot. Check it out, you guys. Look at that. I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy with it. Okay. Let's set this one aside. And we will prepare for the next four. If you guys like what I do, please give me a thumbs up for a like. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications whenever I put up new videos. I hope you guys found this inspiring. And I hope you guys see that you don't have to just pour on canvas. You can pour on anything you want. And then also keep in mind that some, you don't need silicone and all this stuff mixed into your paint. You can get away with just pouring paint and Floetrol. It is acceptable um, and you will get very small cells which I'm very happy with for the size of this piece I'm okay with small cells which is why I did not add silicone now for my next pieces I'm going to be doing swipes and I will be adding silicone but for this one there was no point to anyway I hope you guys had a great time today I hope you guys learned a few things and got inspired and as always please have a wonderful afternoon Bye-bye, y'all.